Welcome back. It's Jerry with Sky Management here again to bring you a wonderful tip that will save you a lot of money. We've got an older building and these doors are heavy. These are about an hour fire door that's on here. And after 30 plus years, they're dragging. And if you've got something that's dragging at your house like that, you can come close and have a look at that guy. It's been rubbing in. Well, the door is just sagging because of weight and time that has pulled the thing down. So there are a few different easy ways to fix this, and I'm sure you've probably looked up a few of these, and we're going to go over a few different of them real quick here in this short video. Come have a look. The first thing we'd like to do is just simply take a regular handheld Phillips head screwdriver and try to tighten these screws. You don't want to over tighten them because you don't want to strip them out, but make sure that all of the screws that have possibly come loose, especially on the top, are tightened up. And then we'll, you'll come in here and try to, try to shut it again. And it, it's better, but it's still dragging. So if it's still dragging, you've tightened those up or some of those have possibly been stripped out. The next thing you can do is take some longer screws. These use a Torx bit, but you can use some longer screws that are usually about three to four inches long. Uh, I prefer these ones that have the, the blank shaft here on the back. They will go through there grab a hold of the wood that's behind the jam and pull this door back at the top. So we're going to go ahead and take out, take out a couple of these screws up here at the top. And you can see these screws that they put in there are, are short guys. We're going to put some longer ones in. So we're going to take out a couple of these. And then using our Torx bit, we're going to mail it in. Mail it in! Mail it in! Let's see if that doesn't help. Look at that. Like a glove. Like a glove doesn't even touch anymore. Now, if for some reason mailing it in doesn't work, there's a third option. And this one is a little more involved, but what you'll do is you'll loosen the bottom hinge down here. And then using a special tool, which is a copper engraving of the Great Emancipator, you can insert this back behind or use a wood shim if you'd prefer. This is just a cheaper way to do it. And then when you tighten that back hinge down, it will then bring the bottom edge out just a little bit, which will then cause the, the top to not hit that as much. So that, that's the third and final step. In this particular case, uh, honestly, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it, so I think it's a win. Uh, if, it, uh, if it raises up too much, you gotta be careful because you're gonna have to adjust this catch right here, but I think that's a win.